Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. All right, guys, we're back with another double blind. Just kidding. Not double blind. Double blind. We need to blind. do one of those. We do need to do one of those. I just read it. <laughs> so we're back for a blind with John. Um, this one's been on the list for a while, oh, so wow. I'm sorry. But there you go. Let's get into her. So this one's nicely oaked. It's very pretty. It's got some sweet oak, strong vanilla, strong caramel, bright cinnamon red apples you know when they dry apples and they add a little cinnamon to them mm -hmm. that's what it smells like mm, okay that's a nice smell a little sugary like an elephant ear okay is that made out of flour yeah yeah it's flour dough it's like a piece of dough so it's Fine. like bready sugary i guess some brown sugar pecans and grape it kind of reminds me of the grape salad you make <laughs> okay um, I make That's a, a grape salad that uh, you take red and green grapes and you put them into a cream cheese powdered sugar base. You mix that up and you coat them and then you put brown sugar and pecans over the top. Yeah, so, a lot of sweet smells on this. Yeah. And the longer it sat out, it opened up to some strong butterscotch. And I'm also getting that maple smell. I don't know how to describe maple. It's maple. Self-explanatory. Oh, uh, it's a perfect smelling whiskey right oh, there. You gave it perfect? Yep, that's fire. Okey-doke. That's not even a question in my mind. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. Did we score? Yep, we did. We scored twice now. Oh. Yeah. Out of the game I don't watch, we always I know. kill them. You just can't watch. Now, the palate is quite oaky. A lot of oak spice on there. Dusty wood. A little toasty. I don't know why I went up an octave. Got higher pitch toasty. <clears throat> Losing my voice too. Too much bourbon. Yeah, too much? You need to be cut off. Get a little woody nuttiness. Caramel. A tongue coating black pepper that just doesn't go away. It, it, it tingles. I love it. Interesting. Uh, you get a leather char. I'm going to say caramel again because there's so much caramel in there. That's a note that I always get on the nose. I can never get it on the palate. And when I do, it's a damn good bourbon. Oh. Yeah. Cover your ears, children. I get peanut butter, like fresh ground peanut butter, no sugar. Mm -hmm. My favorite. The good I get it from butter. Fresh Time mm -hmm. or Horrocks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. This is good. Okay. Well, the finish, finish, I get that dry oak, a little toasty. I get a ton of char. Peanut butter. You just hit a three run homer. Sorry. Luis <laughs> Robert. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about doing uh, another series of baseball and bourbon. Oh. Talk about the White Sox like once a week. Cup but anyway, get back to this. <laughs> it's got a decent mouthfeel, a medium to long finish. I do like the finish, but it's not perfect. That's probably the weakest spot in this bourbon. Okay. I'm going to give it a four. How about the look? Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's not dark, but it's not light. It's not peepee. -pee, that's right it's in the middle. It's very bright. And it is very vibrant. Yeah. Shimmery. Legs look good. They run all the way down, but then they stick to the glass and leave streams all over. Mm -hmm. Literally all over, like Literally. pleated everywhere. I'll give it a two on the color. Look. Guesses? I said Jack Daniels single barrel, so I was thinking like Eric Church. No. So this mash bill is 70% corn, 14% um, bloody red corn. Huh? It's like, or blood red, red winter wheat. <laughs> that is Maker's Mark. 
And I wasn't done yet. Well, they're the only one. I know that does spread right winter wheat. Fourteen percent. I knew it was something red and some kind of something. I don't know. Never mind me. So that's RC six because that unless it's Maker's forty six. Nope, RC six. Okay, RC six 2019 release that we got halfway through 2020. Yeah, well, welcome to Michigan. Here we are. <sighs> yeah, that one lived up. John and I are not big fans of Smoke Maker's Mark. Maple and butterscotch. Oh yeah, Tastes smells like, like maple fudge. Yeah. Um, John and I are not big fans of Maker's Smart. We okay, do have it around. But this 46, this, half strength, it's all going to change my mind. John was real excited when we picked this, when I picked this I up. saw him post it on Facebook. I'm like, it's July. That's yeah. when we bought it. And he was like, go run up there and see if he still has it. And I was like, okay. And I went up there and he did. He had it hidden under the counter. So Had to have gotten stuck in our distribution warehouse. Yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway, the bottle, I love the wax. I mean, how do you not love how do you Maker's not wax? Love that? Yeah. It's iconic. The bottle's kind of cool and tall. and I like the shape of it. Yeah. It's nice. Really nice. I love the the label. It gives you all the information. I'm going to give it a 2.25. I mean, the heavy base, the way it's just shaped, it really shows you the color. and it It's pretty. It really sticks out. It's very pretty. So what does that bring me to? 89. Okay. How do you feel about that? I like it. I'm happy with it. I feel like that's solid for you because you do really like this. He sipped on it quite a bit. This was his first go at it. He had a couple glasses yeah. and I mean, he really enjoyed well, we, it. So we dealt with my mom for half the night that night. So I drank it. <laughs> that's true. But you did enjoy it. And I definitely think, I mean, if it was more readily available, but we'll definitely pick up the one that comes out this year. So this is Stay Profile RC6. It's part of their wood finishing series. Um, they're toasted in a high temperature oven. Then they add 10 staves to each barrel and place it in the limestone cellar for extra finishing. So it is toasted. Mm. Barrel finish for amplified notes of fruit balanced, balancing sweet and spice. What fruit? I got red apple, got apple caramel apple, grape. An elephant ear. <laughs> grape, yeah. A grape salad. It does have some fruit in there. 108.2 proof. 10 virgin toasted American oak staves. This one gets me excited because they're new one. I don't remember all their letters, but I'm seeing it hit stores around the country and people are posting yeah. it now. Hopefully we get it soon. I'll pick it up. It's usually around 60, 70 bucks. Good price for this. I mean, barrel proof. Yeah. Makers is really good when it's up there. See what happens. I still gotta try the cast strength. We'll get yeah, there. We'll get there eventually. So, hey. Anything else you wanna add? There you have it. <laughs> So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.